Hi, I am Dr. Sham Sharkar. Welcome to my class. Don't forget to subscribe this channel for more updates. Today I will show two MCQ solve with explanation. So let us see first one. See in this case the major product formed in the reaction of trans 1 bromo 3 methyl cyclobutane with sodium iodide in DMF is four options are given a b c d four products are given you have to identify which one is the major product here so this question was asked in csr net 2014 june okay so if you face this type of problem or a similar kind of problem let us see how to solve this kind of problem okay so i will show the step by step with explanation how to solve this type of problem okay so let us see see here the substrate trans 1 bromo 3 methyl cyclobutane is a secondary substrate so this is 2 degree substrate and when it is treated with sodium iodide in dmf substitution reaction will occur okay because see here i minus is there so i minus will substitute br minus now this was this type of substitution may occur in two different possible ways so either by sn1 or by sn2 now you have to see the solvent what is solvent is given so here in this case you can see dmf is given so dmf we know dmf is a polar aprotic solvent and we also know that in a polar aprotic solvent sn2 reaction pathway favors so in this case sn2 reaction will favor and we know that SN2 reaction involves the inversion of configuration at the reaction center. So if you see the reaction center here, the configuration of Br- minus is trans. So when I- minus will replace this Br- minus, so it will be converted to the cis isomer. Okay. So therefore, we finally we can conclude that when trans 1 bromo 3 methyl cyclobutane is treated with sodium iodide in dmf solution so cis 1 iodo 3 methyl cyclobutane will form as a major product okay so if you see the reaction here so see reaction so trans 1 bromo 3 methyl cyclobutane is if you treat this with sodium iodide in presence of DMF as a solvent, so you will get cis 1 iodo 3 methyl cyclobutane. Now let us see the reaction mechanism, how this reaction occurs. So if you see this, this is the starting substrate. So if you treat with I minus, so I will I minus will attack from the back side and Br minus will leave. So in DMF SN2 favors, so this here, if you, the product you will get with inversion of the uh, inversion. Okay, so this inversion occurs in SN2 mechanism. So here you will get trans to C's isomer. Okay, so this is the inversion which occurs in the SN2 mechanism. So if you see the options given, so four options given, so our answer is matching with option C. So option C is the correct answer. That is C's 1 iodo 3 methyl cyclobutane is the major product of this reaction. Okay. So you, now I will show you another uh, problem. See this. So this is also somewhat similar to that of problem so this is sample question i just uh, collected for you so let us see how to solve this problem so the major product formed in the re following reaction is so one reaction is given see here four products are given so let us see how to solve this kind of problem now if you look at this substrate 3 bromo 2 methyl propanoic acid so it is if you treat this with sodium azide NaNa3 and in presence of DMF solvent, so we know that here this substrate, in substrate you can see bromide is a living group and we know bromide is a very good living group. And in addition here N3- minus is given so which is a good nucleophile. So since DMF is also given as solvent, so DMF is polar aprotic solvent. So here SN2 path will favored. Okay. Now 
when this given reactant that means 3 bromo 2 methyl propanoic acid is treated with sodium azide in dmf solvent simple substitution reaction will occur via sn2 pathway now when this substituted product is treated with hydrogen palladium and in presence of charcoal azide will reduce to primary amine so one nh2 group will form in place of n3 therefore when 3 bromo 2 methyl propanoic acid is treated with sodium azide in dmf followed by reduction with h2 pdc 3 amino 2 methyl propanoic acid will form as a major product so you will get 3 amino 2 methyl propanoic acid okay so let us see the reaction in step by step so See the reaction 3 bromo 2 methyl propanoic acid on treating with sodium azide in presence of DMF as solvent. So you will get 3 azido 2 methyl propanoic acid. Now, if you treat this, if you reduce this with hydrogen in presence of palladium catalyst and charcoal, so you will get the product 3 amino 2 methyl propanoic acid. Okay. So our answer will be option A that means correct answer is option A 3 amino 2 methyl propanoic acid okay so in this way you can solve this kind of problem if you like this video share with your friends and who have not subscribed yet my channel please subscribe for more updates thank you so much for watching this video